we knew something was wrong with Malcolm. I remember seeing an x-ray of the, the curvature of his spine literally an hour after he was born. William seemed fine at birth. The initial x-ray was blurry, so they had to repeat it right away, and I was at this point realizing that William probably had the same thing that his brother had. And with James, we expected that he probably might have a problem, but it was clear that he had a curve as well. When you looked at Mason, you couldn't tell. He would tweak his neck every so often, and we took him to the walk-in clinic. The doctor there saw that it wasn't just a muscle issue, it was something more than that. Then he determined it was scoliosis. I wanted to find out whether or not Corey had it, so I decided to get a, an x-ray done, and she had it also. So we've been coming to Children's for probably about four or five years now. It's always a little different when you're treating children because you're really trying to think down the road about how their life experience is going to be. Decades tend to magnify any potential problems. So we're treating a 10-year-old, but we're thinking, how are they going to be at 40 when they've got a family and a job? And doing everything you can at that point to give them a full, long, high-quality life. One of the things that we are concerned about and our families are concerned about is radiation dose. All three kids spend a lot of time getting x-rays. Malcolm has had more than 120 x-rays in his young life already. He's only 13. The problem with traditional x-ray is there's a lot of, in a way, wasted x-ray that goes through the patient. The US machine has an advantage over traditional x-rays. It moves the x-ray source and the detector over the patient very quickly, simultaneously. Using this technique may reduce their x-ray exposure down to a fifth of what they otherwise would have had. It means the world. If we can cut back on the radiation for my kids and for every other child that needs to go through x-rays on a regular basis, and that's great. We're also very excited by the nature of the images that occur and the ability to do 3D images because information is critical. It's a technique that uh, allows us to more accurately measure how we're correcting deformities, the deformities themselves. And it's also the first step in research when we're looking at an innovative surgical technique, we really need to be able to evaluate the results accurately to demonstrate that it's providing the, the improvement that we think it will provide. It's about providing doctors with the tools they need to achieve the best outcomes possible. We really want to be keeping pace with technology like this and providing really high quality care. It attracts people to our institution and our province. They all know that I get to use it all first, so that slows them down a little bit though. I'm amazed at the technology, how quickly and how less invasive it is for kids. Considering Mason had growing rods, we had to come in every six months for day surgery to get it done and now after a few years we can do it externally where they just put a magnet over his back and extend it. A couple weeks ago William and James both went on a 10 kilometer fundraising walk for school That's true. and both Malcolm and William are into sports. They play badminton, squash, tennis. Yesterday I got a letter from a patient I opened up at home. She'd had a major scoliosis surgery done quite a few years ago, but she's in fourth year university saying I'm active, I'm skiing, and just said thank you. So that'll, that'll keep me working hard for a long time. Share our vision. Share our vision. Share our vision. Be a part of improving the care of all of BC's children.